Hey everybody, you're watching Vlogging with G. Today, we're having a different kind of video, a different kind of layout. I want to do a discussion video. I'm going to show you. Oh, we're right here. I got my boy Lou. Let me introduce you first, my bad. Yeah. I got my boy Lou. Um, I'm going to show him a video, and I'm going to show it to y'all at the same time about our discussion, what we're going to have today. And y'all feel free to leave comments um, and let me know how you feel about the subject, all right? I'm going to show you the video right now. And making state headlines, a death row inmate took his last breath tonight after pleading with judges to move up his execution date. 27-year-old Daniel Lopez was pronounced dead at 6.31 p.m. Lopez was convicted of running over and killing a Corpus Christi lieutenant back in 2009 during a high-speed chase. Lopez's lawyers fought the voluntary execution, saying he was mentally ill and should never have been charged with capital murder. His execution marks Texas's 10th this year, the most of any state it's like how do you feel about the fucking death penalty itself fuck this guy fuck the bush that happened how do you feel about the death penalty itself are you for it mm. nah no, really. so you well, don't I mean, it, 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 it also depends on on what they really what the really case is like I mean if it's something that's well deserved because he took for like, in other words, I guess if it's, they just need to go by the books instead of trying to bend the laws all the time and trying to find, you know, because they, uh, there could be another person that could do an even worse uh, massacre and they just give them so much years, but they never give them a death penalty. And a person that kills maybe just one person and doesn't even try to attempt to kill person, they want to execute them right away. So... I mean, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm with it and not with it. It just depends on the situation. Well, I'm for it. Like, not taking away from your opinion or nothing. Sometimes they take innocent but, people. Sometimes they take innocent lives, you know what I'm saying, for lack of evidence and shit. You know what I'm saying? They just go with whatever, I guess, they have on the table. And then years after it happens, they come out with, like, oh, well, it turns out that wasn't really this, this, and that. That's what I mean. Like, they need to make sure that their evidence is on point before they execute a person or even place that type of. I'm sure. I'm sure they're not gonna kill somebody, and and not be like, you know what I mean? Sure about it. What I was trying to get. What I'm trying to get at is, I'm for the death penalty, man. Like, knife for knife, tooth for tooth. Um, if you do unto others as you want uh, done to you, like, you know what I mean? I believe in all that shit. Like, I'm for it. Uh, like, I know it sounds fucked up. It does sound fucked up, right? That I believe somebody should die for committing a crime. But, like, m murder, killing somebody is, like, one of the ultimate sins, bro. Like, regardless. And I'm not even trying to make this, really, like religious, you know what I mean? But murder, like killing somebody is the ultimate sin, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like the death penalty I believe it should be done, but like there's no like there's no fucking proper way to do it, bro. Real talk. How is that, bro? My neighbor pulled up. There's no, there's no proper way to do it, dog. Like, how, how are you gonna kill somebody, bro? How? Like, would you rather them strangle somebody than to put them to sleep? Huh? Back with electric chair. Oh, the electric chair. Oh, Sparky. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, Sparky. Fuck it. We'll burn them motherfuckers up. Hell's that noise? Dude, but it's cool. And I just took my mind off everything. Anyways, I don't believe they should bring back the electric chair. I think that was a fucked up way to kill people. I think the way it is now, like where they have um, 
where they have the lethal injection and they just go to sleep and I I've heard bro you're gonna hear some crazy shit I've heard that when they put that shot in you when you're about to die in the because I've never seen an execution there in my life but I've heard that when they do that and they're gonna kill you with that shit when it hits your bloodstream that you start snoring really and you just die you go to sleep nigga come on cuz I try to work ass go send down some cabinets Hey, y'all like my motherfucking Gatorade bottle? This fucking vlog was pointless, man. I just really wanted to know how this guy felt about the death penalty. But... Idiot, what the fuck? Yo, squeaking ass. Squeaking ass shit. Damn, man. My nigga, hey. We were babbling on about bullshit. I know this This probably won't even make the vlog. I'll probably have to do something later. Oh, man. Probably have to do ballerina tricks or some shit. <laughs> get have these to niggas. Make up. Get these niggas to motherfucking <laughs> subscribe or like, man. They ain't doing shit. Alright, when is this coming out? Uh, some probably shout out. tomorrow. I don't know. Everybody's gonna be late. Why? Say shout out to Rashid coming into the building today. Shout him up. Anybody in downtown my Kelly, man, want to come to Barcelona tonight, man? Come on and show some love to my boy Rashid. He'll be here, 21st Century Dope House, the general. El General. We'll be out there. Pinche Rashid. Yeah. In La Cantina de Barcelona. Where's that at? Downtown McAllen? Y'all got it right here. I'm going to post this shit up tonight now that you said that. Or today, later on. So motherfuckers know to go. Hey, go to Barcelona. Porque está el pinche Rashid. What? El General. El General Rashid. 21st century Mexicanos. Bueno, nos miramos. Si le gustaron este video, uh, ponle el pinche like. Y suscribe. Suscribe, ponte una suscripción <risa> o al pinche vlogging con G y algo más, güey. Se bañen si toman la agua. <risa>